my name's Caroline. Um, my best friend introduced me to something called Fairy Loot recently, so I'm going to do my version of a Fairy Loot unpacking. Um, big box. I didn't quite realise it was going to be this big, which is stupid, really, considering I know that there's a book in there. I know, but there we go. So, I've already cut the thing because I thought I'd why waste time. So, the excitingness begins. Ooh, excitement, excitement. So, the spoiler card with a lovely piece of artwork on it, which I will not read for now because I don't want to be spoiled. That's the point of this video. So, let's see. Ooh, packing, packing, packing. A lovely little Funko Pop keychain of Baby Groot. How cute is he? So, he's adorable. I, he may be going in my car. So, yep. Yeah. Um, and then we have a, a bath bomb called Celestial Gunpowder. That's exciting. I do like a good bath bomb, especially one with... Ooh, glitter. Glitter's nice. Glitter's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. There is a, a candle called Calusian Sunset. Beautiful artwork on the outside. I don't know if you can see it properly in this light, but it is gorgeous. I'm not sure where it comes from. I'm still fairly new at, you know, getting invested in the young adult universe. But I heard that there was something in here that was very um, linked to one of the um, fandoms that I very much enjoy. So let's have a smell of this candle. Oh, that is gorgeous. Unfortunately, I could almost eat that. And that's always dangerous with me. So there is a lovely candle which can go into my home office. Um, lots of going back into the box. We've got lots more packing. Purple, always my thing, as you can probably tell by my room. Um, so what we've got here, we've got something that's wrapped in purple tissue paper and black, uh, with a black ribbon. So let's have a look what's in here. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Wow, this is resilient sellotape. Ah! Right, oh. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, I like that. I'm not sure what it comes from. But it is very nice artwork. Till and Dill, enjoy your new adventures. So, that's where that comes from. I shall have to investigate that. Because that looks very intriguing indeed. Okay, so. Oh, wow, a, um, a coaster. She is Catalyst, she is Chaos. I can see why he loves her. Lumine. That's nice. I like that. And I like that quote. That's really nice. I like those ones that just stick with you. Uh, so let's see. Your personal discount for the most unusual bookmark. Lovely. 30% off. Gift card. For making bookworms happy. That's good because I'm always losing bookmarks. Um, oh, we've got an envelope with it's not a lie if you can't remember the truth. Very profound. Let's have a look inside said envelope. Hmm. Oh, it's a snippet. The One Memory of Flora Banks, Be Brave by Emily Barr. Lovely, okay. So that's something to have a look into later on. What have we got here? Oh, hello. I do believe this is Manon from my fav one of my favourite book series, Throne of Glass, with Dorian on the back. I like a lot. Beautiful artwork. I wish I could do art like that. So I'll have to... Oh, it's been signed at the bottom. That's good, so I can go check out the artist. I can't make out the signature right now, sorry. So <laughs> I'll post it later on. Let's see... This is a toiletries bag. The world makes things for each place. Lovely. 
that is very useful because I'm always in need of a toiletry bag for going to London and that sort of thing. And then we have the piece de resistance, a lovely Ferrelut bag which contains within it hidden treasures which my best friend um, who runs the Careful of Books vlog has um, received. You should go check her out because she's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a lovely note from the author to my dearest, fierce, fiercest fairy looters. That's lovely. Okay, so I'll read that later. We've got the fairy scoop of Emperors and Fugitives, Fe February 2017. Very nice. With an interview with the author. And the book is Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Belitza. I have not heard of this one. Um, it is definitely something that looks up my alley. So on the back, it says Crown Princess Rhiannon Tan, better known as Rhi, is the sole survivor of an ancient bloodline. She is seen as something delicate, a thing to be preserved and protected until she comes of age to rule as Empress. But Rhi has other plans. That sounds very intriguing. It's got some nice little um, recommendations on the back from other authors, which is nice. I love the cover. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's the, the face, I believe, of Re in the moon that's um, going through an eclipse by the looks of it. But that looks lovely. Let's see if there's anything interesting under the cover. No, but that's okay. Lovely. So that is now on my next to read list. Um, once I get through Red Queen, um, I hope to do another one of these next month with my next fairy loot because I believe there may be something hopefully mortal instruments related from the uh, spoilers that have been given out um don't know if you can you've really seen my t-shirt but uh got malik you know because that's always the best thing um so hopefully i will see you all next month with um maybe a quick review of this book if i can manage to get through it okay thank you very much for watching bye